Mr. Bailey's. Lomas nearest to us. Looking in with you today. And as they jump off, Lomas towards the left of the picture. And nobody very keen to make it. Quite a steady pace early on. Lomas towards the left. Prince Baybar's up with them. And just in behind them towards the right of the picture, Mr. Bailey's. And also Mr. Eubanks between Lomas and Mr. Bailey's. Lomas the leader from Mr. Eubanks and Mr. Bailey's. Those three ahead of Prince Baybar and Classic Sky and the back marker is Botate as Lomas leads them round this turn from Mr. Eubanks showing with his white face on the outside the right of the picture Mr. Bailey's. Just in behind them comes Prince Baybar with Classic Sky. Lomas being chased along there by Alan Munro, Mr. Eubanks, Dean McEwen sitting cosily at the moment on uh, Mr. Bailey's, and Mr. Bailey is coming to challenge now as they pass the two furlong pole. Mr. Bailey's showing there with his white face in the lead from Lomas over on the far side. They're being chased by Prince Baybar, but coming down to the furlong pole, and Mr. Bailey's going clear, striding away as it looked as though he would have done at uh, Newbury if he hadn't got in a pocket. Mr. Bailey is striding away from Prince Baybar. Classic Sky, who beat him at uh, Newbury, is way back in fourth. And Mr. Bailey wins the opener from Prince Baybar in second and Lomas third. And Classic Sky four, five is Mr. Eubanks. And sixth and last is Botet. And so the result, first number five, Mr. Bailey is owned by GR Bailey Limited. Bailey's Horse Feeds, trained by Mark Johnson and written by Dean McEwen. Second was number seven, Prince Baybar, owned by Mr. Giles Pritchard Gordon, trained by Gavin. Gavin Pritchard Gordon and written by Frankie de Torre. And third was number four, Lomas, the longtime leader, owned by Prince Fard Salman trained by Richard Hannon and written by Alan Munro. Fourth was the horse Classic Sky that beat the luckless uh, Mr. Bailey's at Newbury. And today Mr. Bailey's was able to show his true ability. He was drawn on the outside. Dean McEwen didn't take any chances. No pace early on. After a couple of furlongs, Alan Munro decided to go on and Lomas, but he was already in trouble at the two and a half furlong marker. And Dean McEwen allowed his mount to cruise into the lead. What a smashing, long striding horse this is. Just for a moment, uh, Walter Swinburne loomed up on the outside and Classic Sky and threatened to make a race of it, but uh, with inside the two, Walter's gone for his whip and there was no response. The first time he's run on soft ground. And now the closest challenger was Prince Barber, who ran such a marvellous race at the July meeting, and he's run another good race today for Frankie de Torre. But the winner was in no danger at all. Look at that stride on this horse. This is the way he should have won at Newbury, and there's plenty to come from him. He handled the ground well, perfect ground for him probably, a big heavy-topped horse like this. Look at the way he flicks his toe out, so he's probably going to be able to act on any ground. I think this is a really good horse, and uh, this was just another part of his education. And Mark Johnson, who worked so hard, was up at 6 o'clock yesterday morning going racing in the north, now down at Goodwood, enjoys his first Goodwood success of 1993. Here's the big horse galloping along. Dean McEwen, who found himself in such an unhappy position at Newbury, can happen to the best jockeys, just really had to ride hands and heels today, just kept his horse balanced, and in fact, the horse uh, handled the track pretty well, considering his size. But of course, easier to do so when there is this bit of cut in the ground. He came into the turn three wide and handled it well. But look at the way he flicks his toe out there. He's a real galloper, this horse. And uh, he could stay, too. He certainly stay a mile and a quarter next year, and uh, perhaps up to a mile this season. Horses who won this race, the Lanson Champagne, have gone on to great things in recent years. And there's no reason why this horse shouldn't be one of the good ones. But Prince Barber in second place has run a marvellous race. And being led into the winner's circle, the first northern trained winner of the Lanson Champagne Stakes in its 18 years history. This the 19th running this afternoon of the race, which has featured two subsequent derby winners in its 18 years of existence. 
And Mr. Bailey's by Robolino out of Thimble Rigger by Sharpen Up. Winner of two of his three races, this 13 to 8 favourite, and very unlucky not to have an unbeaten record. But uh, as Julian said, any jockey can get uh, shut in. There's no guarantee, whatever your ability against that. And this number 65 of the season for Dean McEwen. The distance is two and a half lengths and one and a half lengths. And a 51st uh, winner of what is a marvellous season for the Midland trainer Mark Johnson.